Rule your own world. Morning. Morning. Welcome back to King in It. Welcome back to Iceland. Don't let this mascara fool you guys. I am not awake. <laughs> I am so deaf and tired this morning. It's cray cray. Are you going to hear my teeth? Probably. Couldn't tell you where we are. Yesterday we drove for four hours and got to this place, wherever it is, at like two in the morning. So we slept in a little bit. We've had to mix our plans around because we're just behind schedule. Um, so today we've got another massive drive. We're driving like three hours and we're staying in a guest house tonight. So we have a proper scrub, sort our lives out and uh, plan the next day, which is what you're watching. <laughs> so uh, let's have some lulls. We'll have a great time, eat some food, drink some coffee and all that. So if you have a little drive, Craig, I'll have a little sleep. <laughs> then, uh... I'm on my own today. <laughs> Let's get to it then. You need to brush your teeth. About time, it's been three days. <laughs> so this is where we are. Hell of a backdrop. Long dusty roads. Ghost campers. Shape of this place. Living with Amy Bannister is like living with a yeti. toilets dotted about the place in like little like sheds if you wish but um, if you just need a quick pee just drop your kegs but if you need a number two don't go on the road so that's just gross you just hold it in until you can get to a guest house or a restaurant or a, fine, or, or a bin okay my number one tip would be just poo when you can yeah force it out if you're at a restaurant if you don't need to go just force it out because you never know when you'll get to go again <laughs> so when you get here, the waterfall is immense, but when you come to the other side, there's this valley and it's unbelievable. So cool around here, just a huge crevice going through the land. Look at this. Oh my god, so cool. Aim, that's a hot pool, I reckon you should go for a swim. Definitely not hot, but it would be a really cool picture. Do it for the team. Get your kids off. No. Another wicked tip if you're on the road in Iceland. First you need a banging playlist. Some power ballads, you know, some groovy tunes, some old school R&B, whatever you're into. And also, we've been listening to loads of podcasts, so I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but Criminal. But we've just started listening to a podcast called Serial, but it's really good, isn't it? It's about like, like murder and criminals and stuff like that. Like, it's about like a, like courtroom, Story, Jeremy. I mean, he's not really selling it, but it just kills the time. Like, it's awesome looking around, but you need like your brain to take over with something. So, playlists and podcasts winning. So, if you've got any wicked podcasts, then comment below. Let us know what you're listening to. Yeah, that'll be good. Coffee! Just in on them. No side bit. 
We've just done another bonus shop. Last time we spent 18,000 kroner, but that was like four or five days worth of food and we've still got loads left over. Um, but what do we buy? It's hard to say really. Just a bit of everything, you know, like typical milk, coffee, cereal, bananas, a bit of fruit, some wraps. Sandwich filling, pasta. Sandwich filling, yeah. Drinks. Bonus is the cheapest place to buy if you're going to do like a big bulk shop. So we've just done another one now. We spent 11, 10, just over 10,000. We buy loads of snacks, don't we? Yeah, I mean, this is the snack bag loaded, ready to go. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff in there. It's a lot of fruit though, mum, so I'm um, getting my vitamins in, like. Yeah. But yeah, so if you're going to come, go to Bonus and do a big shop for your road trip. So we've done a little shop and now we're heading to... Fagrival Guest House. Oi, can't wait to have a proper shower. I know, we've had our sarnies. Our fridge is full again. <laughs> our bellies are full. Amy's a write-off. I'm just... She's like, click, click, I'm so tired, click. She's like a puppy, she eats her food and then she's like... <laughs> well, I drove, I drove here, which was like two hours, so now I believe I'm entitled to a 15-hour nap. So <laughs> yeah. just pulled over to see some Icelandic courses. Oh, I don't know if they sound happy to see us or not. They're so cool though, they look like really emotional teenagers with those big like emo quiffs. I used to have them when I was like 14. Craig thinking he's a horse whisperer. Hello, how are you? Hello. You've come to say hello to your Welsh cousins. What do you think the names are? Have they got those soft little noses. Oh, he's not keen on you, Craig. Should we bring him out those cheese and onion crisps? It's got like a guacamole dip. Do you fancy that? Are you okay? There's an electric fence. Oh man, my heart feels a bit weak, but yeah. Are you okay? Oh my god, I'm glad you touched it, not me. Do you want to sit down? Man. What did you hit it with? My shoulder. Oh, yeah. oh f Don't do that then if you come in. I felt my heart stop. Did you not hear that crack? I heard then? it, yeah, I, th I thought he nipped you. Oh my god, don't get cl too close to those fences. Gee whiz. They're well protected anyway. Are you bleeding or what? No, just a bit dizzy. Do you want to sit down? Yeah, I think I should. Are you okay? That's a bit of a shock. Well, it really was. It's an electric FYI, there's electric fences protecting the horses in Iceland. <laughs> Absolutely shit myself. <laughs> I was, like, I was trying to feed him grass and my arm. Did you see what I was doing? No. I put my arm in and I was literally, as I was about to, he was sniffing it, he was like, and as he was about to take a bite, my shoulder touched it and I was, it was like, Psh! like I made I a really it. big snap and I was like, ah, like fully you took me out. You went that way, the horse went that way, I was like, <laughs> my whole you. body just like shut down. Oh, you can't, it doesn't look like much. It's gone already, but it's like, hit me there. It was a killer. Fucking shit my pants. Get in that van, will you? Take uh, care of yourself. Can you drive? I feel a bit dizzy. Shut up. Look at this little town. Top backdrop. The lady says she's not going to be able to meet us. But welcome to our holiday home and your new home away from home. Isn't that lovely? She said, uh, feel free to explore this quaint, cosy and relaxed town of Fossos. Okay. Alright. Wow! Really big place. Smells good, doesn't it? Look how cool this is. A little Icelandic home. It's really Icelandic, isn't it's it? Cool, yeah. When I think of Iceland, I think of like greys and whites and blacks. Nordic. Okay. So our room is the Drangi or Drangi. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. In that, in, it's obviously an Icelandic word. Probably means lush. This is that.
Oh, twin beds, babes. Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? Really cool. It looks so cozy as well. Got bathroom, actual shower, winning. See, look, it's massive as well. It's got the two showers, the one from above. You don't smell so good, Greg. The town that we're in is called Hofsos. It's a pretty little Icelandic town. Just down the road from us, there's a thermal hot pool. It's like a swimming pool on the edge of the beach and you can see all the mountains in the back. Bloody beautiful. So we're going to go there. We don't want to end the day just going to bed like old people. So we're going to go for a little swim. So we've had a big long drive today. We're going to go and rest our little muscles. Ain't that right, Craig? That's you right. little electrocuted muscles. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I just smashed my head on the car as well. I'm having a nightmare today. Let's get you soaked. What do you think of this? Wonderful, isn't it? It's pretty cool. With the amazing backdrop, it's crazy. We weren't even going to come here, were we? No. The lady at the guest house told us about this. We didn't even plan it in. Definitely the best pool I've ever been to. <laughs> it's so cool, man. Everybody, have a look at this. Craig, is it that one? Look how webbed his feet are. <laughs> go all the way down. I have a better swimmer than you though, so... Now we're back at the guest house. Yeah, there's nothing like exploring Iceland in a camper van, like with the freedom, and then you get tired and you just go and sit in a hot pool. It's nothing, there's no better feeling, is there? But the, the scenery just blows like your them, socks off honestly. and then, yeah. Definitely one of our favourite countries, hands down. Yeah. And for a day where we were like, oh, we're literally just going to drive today. We saw a waterfall and swam in a hot swimming pool. Yeah, pretty much. It's yeah. <laughs> pretty special. It was, yeah. Not your average day. But that is it for today's vlog. So if you're brand spanking new and you want to come to Iceland and you've just found us, then thanks for hanging around with us. Make sure you press subscribe some more for some more Icelandic goodness. Yeah, because we actually went to Iceland last year and did the other half of the country. So click here if you go in and you need some inspiration. And if you're not new guys and you're still watching us, then thanks a bunch. We really appreciate it. And we love reading all the comments and hearing all, all about yourselves. And always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three. Bye. Bye.